was an accident. I have double, 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 double uploaded today, bringing you guys a back-to-back -back, uh, Minecraft videos today, just because I feel like I'll just get this series out of the way and just finish it off today. So make sure you, you leave a like for the extra added effort, I guess you could say. But in today's video, as you saw from the first part of this sort of season finale, if you want to call it that, maybe, maybe it's the season finale, who knows, but uh, I'm preparing to fight the Ender Dragon, yes, so um, right now I'm just getting myself situated on um, things I'm going to need for the fight. Now in the last video you saw me sort of get the last final preparations, finding the end portal, this, that, and the other, but uh, right now I'm just big, uh, making a chest right now so I can, you know, gather extra things that I'm going to need in order to fight the Ender Dragon, and so I can just put it in the spawn of the end portal, so I, I don't have to keep, if I do die, you know, knock on wood for that, uh, I don't have to keep running back up here. Uh, I'm also trying to uh, figure out how to make a piston, because if you have never been to the end portal, the piston comes in handy at the very, very, very end. If you don't know, I guess you will see why. We just make our way back down to the uh, fortress where we found the end portal. Way, 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 way down here. And we're just going to sort of uh, set up shop real quick. End portal always looks very, very, very um, scary. <laughs> uh, but yeah, it's definitely a lot of fun. The only thing I'm very worried about is that uh, I have not fought the Ender Dragon in a very long time. So I was actually kind of freaking out because I probably haven't fought in an Ender Dragon in oh my god like a year or so like I said this is this was during the time when the new patch first came out and uh, I was definitely um, very nervous because I haven't again fought in an Ender Dragon in a very long time I didn't know if it was any different this was you know my first go at it so um, so right now I'm just making sure I have everything I'm gonna need obviously our beautiful diamond sword and diamond pickaxe and our even more beautiful and more important our bow with I think it has power four or five I think it has power four infinity bow as well so we get the infinite 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 arrows which is great because we don't have to worry about you know farming chickens and flint and things like that we can just go in there with a couple arrows and just have an infinite amount of them so it's really good food we have 64 pieces of bread and some uh, lamb chops just in case we uh, you know get a little bit more hurt than uh, we figure also I have a ender uh, now I have ender uh, just in case if I fall off the edge of the map I can maybe try to attempt to clutch it out and try to make it out of there and a golden apple which is probably one of the best you know items to have in the game uh, makes your health a little bit larger and it also I think it instantly refills your food bar so that's always good too we got building materials well we got the sticky pistons uh, I checked right there to make sure uh, my armor was good and it was not so I'm putting on this brand new uh, set of armor on which is really good put this old set in there just again in case I die and I lose my stuff um, what else do I need oh my water buckets yes I need my extra water buckets because um, water buckets obviously are helpful because Endermen hate, 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 hate water. It will keep them away from me. And also, again, if I fall from somewhere far, 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 uh, it won't uh, hurt if I fall and place a bucket of water down there. Um, I also stupidly forgot to bring my redstone, so I have to remake a new one. Thank God I have a bunch of redstone. Again, something that we're going to need for the end, end, of the end. Um, anything else? We'll have extra diamonds, just in case. Uh, I made a torch, which I don't think I need a torch to activate a sticky pencil. I think all I need to do is place down the redstone block. A redstone block. But again, I wasn't thinking. I was just kind of freaking out over the situation that was going on. But I now think I have everything I need. Just double checking, and then again, if I die, I have an extra bow, uh, I have some diamonds, um, I have six, uh, 26 pieces of uh, iron armor, and this is on, I think, easy or normal, I don't remember what it was on, so um, I don't need like a full 
most of them die in like armor to keep me protected. I'm totally fine. I don't need the enchantment armor or go super hard or anything like that. But uh, yeah, you can see here I'm just mentally preparing myself. Oh, that's flame one as well. So maybe I'll get some burning damage <laughs> on the uh, Ender Dragon. I just resituated my uh, hot bar just to make things a little bit easier for me putting my bow in the middle because that's probably the thing I'm going to be using the most. spawn is outside of the sort of main platform of the end which is very terrifying because it just takes one swoop and I'm dead and I lose all my stuff so let's not try and do that um, I also have a potion of fire resistance which I don't think does anything I probably should have looked that up before I brought it with me <laughs> but uh, yeah so I guess if you've never fought an ender dragon before which I'm sure everyone who's watching this video has, or is just maybe just learning about it. The key point of fighting the Ender Dragon, if you're not trying to, you know, speed run it with beds or anything like that, is to try to snipe out these uh, um, sort of cubes that are floating, and they actually regen the health of the Ender Dragon. So, um, trying to get rid of these as fast as possible is the best way to do it, at least in my opinion. Um, I usually try to do a ground approach first and see if I can do it that way, but if I can't, then I will try to climb one of the towers and snipe them that way. And also you can see some of them are caged, so uh, you, you physically have to go up there and, and, and break them. But thank god I have the infinity bow because I am just firing on this thing like I'm Hawkeye or something. Uh, there's also a trick I know if you put a um, jack-o'-lantern on your head. Uh, it keeps you from triggering the Endermen from coming to fight you. Uh, but I feel like it's kind of, it hinders your your vision and it's pretty hard to see. Uh, but yeah, now I'm trying to do the climb up approach and trying to find a good spot to put my water. So again, if I fall, uh, I have a place to, to catch myself. So I think that's pretty a good spot right there. If I fall backwards, there's a lot of room there for water to be there. A lot of building. <laughs> Definitely a lot. They're not even up there yet. It's crazy. I'll probably mine it on my way back down. Still not there. Jeez. And there we go. Alright. You see the cube up close. It's pretty interesting to see. And right there, I'm at a good spot to uh, snipe out these little blocks. I can get this one. Oh, good hit. Let's see if I can snipe these other ones too. Oh, and I get it again. Wow, okay, so there's probably like three more to my left, maybe. And, uh, yeah. I try to clutch it, and I miss it by like half a second. Half a second. Uh, as you can see, I'm sprinting like my life depends on it because I don't want my items to despawn or anything like that or fall off um yeah i failed <laughs> i think that may be my first or second death death of this uh series we've been going on <laughs> pretty sad but uh you know it's kind of hard to not die to the ender dragon even if you're on you know easy i don't even think you can fight the ender dragon on peaceful but if you can't you could probably still die to it um it was just like that one little splotch of land behind me that didn't have the water on it that uh that got me and killed me, so let's just really hope we didn't lose anything. I know it takes like, I think it's like five minutes or so for your items to despawn, so I think I'm making a pretty good time right now. I just don't want to keep dying trying to get my stuff, so. Um, you can see my cobblestone tower and all my stuff everywhere. And it looks like everything's here. Oh, actually, where is my food? Oh god. Oh no. Oh no. I almost ate my golden apple just in case I was about to die, but I think I'm fine. I'm trying to freak out right now because I can't find all my other stuff. But uh, you can see it's hidden behind this pillar right here. So I find my food and all that good stuff. So I'm just going to try to put that back in my hot bar. Redstone, armor still here. I feel like I 
I still have everything. I still have my water buckets, building material. Okay, perfect. Okay. Uh, well, that went bad. <laughs> Definitely did not want that to happen. Dragon stone. They're going after me. I did leave my water there, which probably wasn't the smartest thing to do, but uh, I probably should have picked that up. But uh, now I'm just trying to get the, again, the other orbs. I get that one. I do a pretty decent amount of damage on it, but again, with these orbs, uh, it just gets regened. I do accidentally spawn a couple of endermen on me, which again, uh, I'm difficulty I'm on. They don't do that much damage, but it's uh, obviously with the damage of them plus the ender dragon, it definitely adds up. So there's just one that's covered, so I'm gonna put my water down again and hopefully not get you know bumped off here. Uh, I can't imagine people who try to you know play this game on hardcore or I try to speed run this game I could I could definitely never I think isn't uh, the world record for Minecraft like isn't it like 20 minutes or under I think it's like 20 minutes or something like that um, I definitely I could never do that again I'm trying to find a good spot to put down some some of my blocks and uh, you'll see in a second thank god I did that probably should have counted for some hit damage, but uh, I guess it fucking detected me as being in the water, which I definitely wasn't. <laughs> but thank goodness, that probably would have brought me down to like one or two bars of health. You can also see there's a big, 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 big sort of cliff that's right on the edge of this one, so I, you guys are getting a lot of entertainment in this ASMR video, so hopefully it's somewhat relaxing. barely make it in the water again. That's crazy. Alright, I think I only have about one or two more. Oh my god, the fire's right there. Now, if I drank my fire potion, would the purple little like, foggy stuff still hurt me? I'm not entirely sure if that's technically fire or anything like that. I'm gonna go the, the more difficult way. <laughs> so there's not one there. There's still one smaller tower which thankfully it is a smaller tower so I don't think it's gonna hurt me if I fall off in there this dragon man is just spamming me with the uh the purple haze or whatever you want to call it it's not fire oh ow 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 I don't think it's fire or anything like that um some sort of hazy foggy mist stuff um right now I'm trying to see if there's any other sort of, uh, what are they called? <laughs> uh, healing things for the, uh, Ender Dragon, but I don't find any, so that's a good, good sign there. Again, I'm pretty, pretty high up, but that's nothing that's gonna be too dangerous. And then you gotta, um, break through the little corner piece, and bam. Alright. Now, to my knowledge, I think that was all of them. Hopefully it is. Uh, again, this is a lot more stressful than I remember it being. I'm sure over time they've made the, ouch, they've made the uh, Ender Dragon, you know, more and more difficult or made it more and more random when trying to fight it. Uh, because obviously this game's been out for about like 10 years now or so, so definitely don't doubt it. So now I don't see the Ender Dragon being healed at all, so I think it's about time I try to take some shots at it. And again, with this bow, it's very strong. Um, but as you can see, I have accidentally triggered some of the uh, Endermen. And they are jumping me right now. <laughs> now this was on like a hardcore mode or something like that. I'm sure I'd definitely be dead by now. Uh, but thank God it's not. I think it's on normal or easy, I'm not sure. Just trying to get rid of these Endermen because um, shooting the arrow with people smacking you around is definitely not going to be the easiest thing. And I'll 
I see when the Ender Dragon is flying, it's when it's the hardest to hit, and then when it's up here, it's invulnerable, which is again very annoying. Also, when I'm you know trying to fight off seven Endermen, uh, it's also pretty tough. I have seen people do the bed trick, and I've seen it done before, and I actually know how to do it, but. It's not really the uh, sort of legit way to uh, fighting and beating it. This Enderman is just giving me a lot of trouble. And I don't remember if shooting Endermen with arrows do anything to it. I don't know if they take damage to arrows, but if they do, I definitely haven't been seeing it. But definitely my trusty Diamond Sword is giving it a pretty decent amount of damage. The Enderman Dragon's at half health right now, and I think I'm doing pretty good. I should hit, hit a couple more shots. That was a good shot right there. I think all of my uh, my Hanzo training in Overwatch has helped me a lot. Or especially my training in Skyrim. In Skyrim I play um, archery characters all the time. So I feel like that's definitely helped me out a little bit. And I guess it sort of lagged when I <laughs> to hit the last couple times. But... Uh, uh, your boy ASMR has defeated the Ender Dragon. I know, I know. Oh god, I'm actually still getting hit. <laughs> um, it's nothing too crazy. And again, it's not like this was a, like a hardcore sort of uh, run, which I've seen people do before and have made it all the way to the Ender Dragon and just die at the very end. So thankfully, thankfully that is it because I definitely uh, died pretty bad so uh, right now I'm doing the old trick that not a lot of people I guess know probably more people know about it now than they did before but the ender dragon egg um, this is why if you didn't know uh, I made the uh, piston and the big red block of uh, redstone is so I can uh, activate the piston and uh, push the egg off of its little, uh, I don't know, what do you want to call that, <laughs> but uh, it pushes it down, breaks the block, breaks the egg, and so you can put it in your inventory. Ta-da! So now it's like a little, uh, kind of like a trophy. I think it's a mod. I don't think you can actually spawn the dragon in the egg in sort of regular Minecraft, but I think it's some sort of mod you can get where you can hatch the baby dragon and you can have the baby dragon as a pet in the normal Minecraft world. Uh, I've seen also other mods that uh, respawn the dragon once the egg hatches, and then you can hatch the egg inside the, the end again, and fight the dragon again and get a bunch of XP. But um, you can see there, there's also something that's a little bit newer to Minecraft if you haven't played Minecraft in a really long time, is another portal, which uh, if you guys want, maybe this video gets you know some likes, some interaction, maybe I will take a little tour inside that little portal. And the reason why I pulled my eye out is, uh, not my eye, but portal is, that's how you get inside of it. It's, um, you throw a pearl inside the portal, and the portal teleports you to, uh, somewhere where I'm not gonna say. <laughs> but, uh, if you guys want to see that, I'm definitely down to do that. So now I'm just cleaning up my mess, making, making everything look nicer. And yeah, wow, that was a pretty interesting battle. <laughs> I died had a fight, like 17 Endermen, and had a pretty good run in with the Ender Dragon, but, uh, yeah, I guess this is the end of Minecraft, um, I don't know if you guys have ever seen the end of Minecraft, but, uh, it basically goes to a long credit scene of, it reminds me of, like, Kingdom Hearts, or, like, Final Fantasy, or something like that, it's a very in-depth, uh, end credit scene where you're supposed to just be reading a lot of, uh, of these two entities. 
space talking to each other. It's pretty cool. And they talk about you and sort of your adventure and a lot of other very random things that probably don't make a lot of sense, but it's really cool if you want to, you know, do that your own or look it up on your own time and sort of read through the end credit scene. It's pretty fun, but I think we might just skip through it because we have something to do on our end of this sort of a journey and adventure. You can see there's a lot of things that are sort of crossed out, which is kind of cool, but... And yeah, we're now back in our little village, which is very nice. But you can also see uh, there's something different. We still have the egg, so it's not like a lot of other games where you beat the end and you sort of just restart to right before the end. Uh, you're actually past the end at this point. And I think it'd be kind of cool to have a, a little reward ceremony. So thank you guys so much for, uh, I guess, patiently waiting for this video to come out, the sort of end to the series. Uh, and thank you for also for watching part two, uh, I guess, of this second if back-to-back -back uploading uh, on the same day. I think it's kind of a cool idea. And also because I know that these Minecraft videos are, um, you know, more easy to make, especially since I've already pre-recorded them. Uh, I can put them out a lot easier, so hopefully you guys don't mind me double uploading. Um, but yeah, here's the little egg sort of uh, totem <laughs> that you can stare at. That's kind of cool, but I definitely need to clean this town a little bit up a little bit more. But um, if you guys want me to continue on with this series, I can, you know, go after, you know, the underwater boss and underwater temples. I can, you know, go to the woodland mansion. I can fight the skeleton. Uh, the Skeleton King, or whatever that other boss is in the game. Um, let me know down in the comments if you guys would want to see that. Um, I think it'd be kind of fun, but thank you guys so much for watching this video, and I'll see you again in a 